well, isn't this the sweetest <laughs> thing? You got nuggets? Is there sweet and sour sauce? Yes! Is this like gonna be like a doll that pops up and like yeah. tries to kill me? <laughs> you guys, this is a cold chicken nuggets. I haven't had a nugget in a long time. I'm not gonna stop eating. I wanna move it closer to me. It's my last show. Don't get emotional. I was bawling on, um, I'm getting, I'm crying already, on um, Daily Pop last week. This is all unresolved as I spit my nugget out at you. It's all unresolved trauma. It's the montage of my life here. So I finished doing Rich Kids and the network called me and they were like, you're so good, we wanna continue working with you, but we have absolutely no idea what to do with you. And I was like, but I'm just great at like everything. So like hire me and like do something. And then basically they were like, we wanna extend a contract to you. I had a whole breakfast meeting. And then we, I came up with the name Necessary Realness. And I said, I just wanna talk like off the cuff, pop culture stuff that, but allows me to be me. I was not doing daily pop. I was not doing nightly pop. It didn't even exist at that point. And I came in once a week to do Necessary Realness. And then it became its own full fledged show. And I look better than ever. <laughs> Maybe don't leave that in, huh? I did a little baby drop at Nurse Jamie yesterday under my eyes, don't I look refreshed? Hold on. Can't you tell? I wanna eat more nuggets so I keep rambling. No, I can't eat like 12 nuggets on camera. What's in it? Is there a Chucky doll in that box? Well, you think I have the core strength to lift this box up? What the is this? Ness, oh my God. What, are these my quotes? Yes. If you wear heels by the pool in a swimsuit, you don't know who your father is. If you wear heels by the pool in a swimsuit, you don't know who your father is. So cut that okay. out. That's so true though. Also, whoever wants to walk around in a swimsuit? No one. You pose and stay static. You can't be walking around in the real world so other people see things. Or is that just me? Oh yeah, my tooth, my, oh my God. Did I tell you my tooth fell out last week? Into a tuna sandwich, that was humbling. There was a nub underneath it and I said, really, this is who you are, bitch. Don't forget it. I have the photos for this. My tooth falling out. You guys, this is so sweet. Seriously. You got me a blanket. Yeah, it's freezing. What is this? No, I need it. I wore a coat to my shows because I am not gonna subject myself to freezing my off every single day on these studio sets. It's so cold in this room. It's freezing. Hurry, go fast. Is this whole thing a blanket? Oh my God. Should I use it now? No, because I'm gonna take it home. Let's watch some clips. Hey guys, it's Morgan Stewart. I hate my name. Yeah. This is the first episode. <gasps> what the f I'm watching this? Whose hair is that? <laughs> fried chicken. I had fried chicken alone in my car yesterday from Ralph's. Weird. Just had to get that out there. I'm not kidding. I'm like, I'm going to get a sushi pack from Ralph's. It's good. And then I was like, ooh, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this was really a dark time for me, you guys. Oh, and I did self-checkout. <laughs> dark. Rihanna likes Morgan. Duh. Who the f doesn't? You know, it's so weird because Necessary Realness is going viral because I guess Rihanna's a fan and liked a video. Oh my God, and then she told me she loves me. She loves me. So thanks, Rihanna. We'll predict more of your life and you can like it. Interpretive dance. Magic. You know, it's so funny because the idea of me is so annoying, but I'm so good. Who has a stunning birthday like that? Like who even created that day? Like the 22nd of May? I watch this back and I'm like, if I was not me, I would kill them. I had to have a conversation and be like, you're here. You never thought you'd be here, but this is who you are. <laughs> she doesn't shut the f up. Talking so much today, I'm on fire! <laughs> Don't I look like I work for Pan Am in the wilderness? <laughs> Signaling. Um, I'm sorry, I'm right nipple smoking, because who is a brilliant bitch? I'm having an existential crisis. I can't do it. I want it for later. It's going to stay right there. I can't do it. Oh, no, it's stuck to my dress! Ah! It stopped. That's so foreshadowing of next week. I'm gonna honestly miss this sort of reaction. I feel like we've built in a little bit of a cult following. People love Necessary Realness. I feel like you love it, you watch it, you're obsessed with it. I've been reading all of your guys' comments. They are so sweet, they have warmed my heart. I appreciate you guys watching Necessary Realness. Um, and on to the next, we will do something else fun. Did I tell you I was all-star volleyball? Did you know that about me? I'm not kidding. You were not. In high school, I'm lying. <laughs> So finally, after five years and a gazillion episodes later, everybody who helps make Necessary Realness needs to come on camera. We're gonna all sit down on this couch. I can't, are you guys, come over. Yeah. Vanessa. Oh, me too. 
Okay, cheers to necessary realness. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Wait, no. What? <laughs> no, we're tossing to your closet. Oh, okay, we're tossing so to my closet. We asked. So we asked, and you guys said in what? They, they, there was no other option, all right? All of the comments were your closet. Okay, so down. all of the comments were that you guys want to come inside my closet. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> so we are inviting you into my closet. So comment below and subscribe and do all the things and let us know what no. you want to see specifically from the closet. No. So we have a shoot sheet and we know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> so it's extremely efficient no. and we know exactly, Vanessa, the people want what they want. Okay, so One's we'll see you in the closet. I don't think you can no. say that. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want me to say? You guys asked, we listened. You all wanted to see my closet, so here, here it is. Here it is. Good job! Woo! What's wrong with coming in my closet? Morgan, would you like to do the The honor? final. God, I love these things. Welcome, Necessary Realness. Here we are in my closet. Well, one of them, there are two. Don't be alarmed, I know. So obviously it's a little cramped in here. I really try to do an audit every few weeks and get rid of things that I'm no longer wearing. But then every time I do that, I go through it and then I'm like, but I love that. And then I keep it for another six months and I still don't wear it. And so I'm really trying to break that habit. We have coats here. This is a new Bottega coat that I haven't worn yet that I'm gonna wear in Paris Fashion Week. Isn't that exciting? I love that. But I have a bunch of different things that I'm gonna show you. We'll start with some nostalgia. This. So this is a Chanel Tweed green crossbody bag. Jordan McGraw got me this bag in 2010. Okay, I have had this bag that long. The fact that I carried it with me is just all of the manifestations of what has happened. That's gonna go back up here because I'm not gonna be able to do that. And then another Jordan McGraw thing, and then I'll show you a few things. I saw a photo of this jacket. I died. I said, I need to have that jacket. It was YSL. I looked everywhere, okay? Showed a picture to Jordan. I was like dying for it. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it. It was not in the United States. Christmas time comes around. He gives me some gifts, whatever. I'm stepping on the letter. All of a sudden he gives me a suitcase and in the suitcase it was packed. He gets me my dream jacket. He had it flown in, this is not a joke, flown in from Paris and give it to me for Christmas. Is it not the most insane piece of clothing you've ever seen. Let me put this on for you. I've never worn it. I have not had a reason to wear it yet, but I guess there's no better time like the present. Can you even? What the f do you have to say to me about my jacket? Can you even handle it? I mean, am I having a dinner party? I don't know. I feel like I'm automatically an icon and I feel like it, not with this outfit, but even with a baggy jean, forget it. Isn't it amazing? Get the brocade detail. It's literally no joke. And then obviously everybody obsessed. I have quite a few mini Kellys. Fun, blue. This is a cutie. I got this when we were on vacation in the summer. It's like a little Birkin charm. It's honestly, well, Kelly charm. It's harder to get than like an actual bag. Like they never have these. And they had one, they're like, would you like it? And Jordan like rolled his eyes like, nobody wants that dumb piece. I was like, we will take that, thank you. Oh, this was something sweet. Yeah, Jordan got me this. I guess Jordan got me a lot of stuff in here, obviously, but we were just dating and I was obsessed with water with lemon, so he got me a Chanel water bottle and delivered it with a thousand lemons. He was on tour traveling a bunch and I was like, I need water with lemon, whatever, it was a joke. And he basically surprised me and had a package delivered with this water bottle and it was just covered in a sea of lemons in the package. Isn't that sweet? Oh, this is fun. My mother-in-law actually gave this to me. Look at this skirt. It's literally like custom couture piece. It is out of control. I don't know where I'm wearing it. Like, invite me to your wedding in fall. I'll wear this with a black tank top. I mean, who am I? It's such a special piece of clothing. And I think for me, people are like, oh my God. And I'm like, I just love something that is special. And this is something that I'll keep and have with for row, you know? Oh, I have brown leather pants. I haven't worn those in a long time. I should wear these. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. This is a cool piece that I haven't worn yet. You guys are gonna die. This is Tom Ford, if I can get it out. I mean, what? Am I Catwoman? How fabulous is it? Just all lace? Isn't it amazing? Look, matching stirrup pants with this. So I don't know when I'm wearing this, but I'm gonna wear it soon. Like, they're just see-through. I'll do it with a booty short and like a high heel. Fabulous. 
And usually I'm so anal retentive that I have somebody come in and clip little pieces of styrofoam over the band of most of my clothes so they don't have the imprint of the hanger. I'm also a psycho about the right hanger. I'm gonna give you a hanger lesson. You need a thicker bulbous end on a jacket that needs structure to keep the shape. Let me tell you the worst kind of hanger to get, but I have some trickling around. Unless you're folding pants over, do not use these hangers for your shirts. They are awful. They stretch them, they keep them flat, they make a crease. This is not a shirt hanger, this is not a jacket hanger. You're welcome. See, thick jacket. Look at this, you ready? Support. Things don't grow without a foundation. You heard it here first. This baby I haven't worn yet. She comes with a matching skirt that I actually just had ah, tailored. Isn't it fun, bubblegum pink? I feel like I could wear this with jeans. I'm very much into the convenience of a set. So I like things when you just throw them on, you don't have to think about it, but a pink tweed Chanel skirt and top is typically a lot. And I don't know where I'm wearing that, but You'll see me in it soon on Instagram. So this is another thing. I have transitioned. So I have a closet in my office and I have a closet in here. This closet is dedicated to the clothes that I wear the most and that are easily accessible. So like obviously these, all the jeans, a lot of pants and things to throw on. And I have recently started to transition my closet from summer to fall because I don't give a if it's California, it's fall. So the open toe, it's it's over, it's over. So now, as you can see, I have now moved everything, transitioned everything into fall footwear. Come in, come join us. We were just talking about how my closet is just way too snug. Come in. This is the only time I'm allowed in here. You're allowed in here. Oh, I have, oh, and also, and I'm, careful. I was showing it. Did you, you haven't seen her in a while. I haven't. So wait, explain to everybody how this works. So it was, who flew this in? This is like the president of the company. The president of YSL like basically was flying in from France and got the jacket. Yeah. How fabulous is it? It's Fair. just, it's forever. I swear I really the wanted it. Got, it was more spectacular. Thank you. Yeah. But I wanted to keep it for real. Rob McGraw, because we're on a McGraw theme, gave me these Gucci boots. She gave these Gucci boots to me, I feel like five months ago, and like they hadn't even been on the site. I feel like she got them firsthand, and now they're like everywhere. So I got these. Oh, you know what also is another funny Rob McGraw tidbit? She gave me the, okay. Let me just preface also, this was before, I'm out of breath. I'm asthmatic. It's the stairs. She gave this to me before Kim found her Balenciaga vibe, before she got into it, and she gave this to me and I was like, what is, is this alive? This bag, oh yeah, it is like pink Balenciaga. Like bitches are fiending over these bags, and I remember being like, God, I'm never gonna wear that. I don't think, but it's so fun. Who said to keep it? And Jordan was like, That bag is so cool. You should keep it. You're gonna love it. And I was like, You do now. And here we are. Oh, this was for so this baby. It's mine. But we did. Okay, fine. Ro kept taking my bags and playing with them and throwing them on the floor and then stepping on them. And I was like, that's not gonna work for mama. So then we obviously told my mother-in-law and so she got one for Ro. And, and I'm, she stole it. And I'm keeping it for safekeeping. Right. And it was a heart, it was a new color this year. And I just wanna make sure that it is in mint condition before Ro gets her grubby little paws all over it. And then- Okay, I'm leaving. No, Jordan, what? let's not do that. We're gonna stick this out together, okay. Hold on, this is another cool thing. This was my birthday outfit, and it is the sickest piece of clothing you've ever uh, seen. You look phenomenal. Yeah, I know, right? Like, phenomenal. I'm sorry, I don't remember you being there. Remember when you didn't come? I could wear this now with jeans. Is this my fashion look? Maybe. Look how heavy it is. How sick is this piece of clothing? Also, I didn't know what I was gonna wear for my birthday, and I walked into his mom's closet, and I was like, what is that? She goes, oh, I just got that today. I'm not, oh, 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 I'm not gonna wear that. You, you take that. And I was like, the You know how long it takes to make something like this? Like, somebody had to hand sew. Like, what, who am I? Hire me to be a backup dancer, like, immediately. Um, what else can I show you guys? Oh, yeah. I have some wedding shoes in here. These are my wedding shoes that we, does our wedding seem like a long time ago? Yeah. Right? Not because you make it feel long. Yeah, but, but does it, honestly? Yeah, it feels like more than, it's almost, it's like not even two years. It's not? No. <laughs> that's I'm supposed to forget, you're not supposed to forget. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it feels, like, it's, it feels like we've just had one continuous Four relationship. So these are my wedding shoes, classic Manolo Blahnik, and actually really not dirty. That was the best thing about our wedding, it was so intimate. We didn't have to mingle with anybody we didn't like, and we didn't have to get tired, and we didn't have to get dirty. No crazy family member. No crazy fan. Oh, 
You getting married? No, my God. <laughs> and the number of times you would have heard, I knew him since he's this tall. This tall. Yeah. This tall. I, yeah. He was a big baby. Big baby. He was a big baby, but boy, is he sweet. Grab that bag. Can you grab that? You're not going to be able to get that. That's really high. Me? Yeah. But you can get it with well, a hanger? <laughs> this was a duffel that he surprised me with for when I was going to give birth to Roe. Or when I did give birth to Roe, I should say, because I like definitely. It was a half surprise. It was a half surprise. No, it was so sweet because we were looking for a hospital bag, and obviously it was my first baby, so I felt like I needed all this unnecessary. She was hormonal though, so I didn't want to just like show up and we were like, what the f is this? Yeah, I was a little crazy with yeah. Roe. He really. I decorated this entire house pregnant, and uh, we made some. Not, no, the house, just you one area. You no, a mouse well, in your pocket? No, but yeah, what? We, we didn't make mistakes, I did. No, I just wasn't listening. Anyway, point is, we st we moved into this house in July 2020. Yeah. I was I found out I was pregnant in mid June. I was on the verge, not the verge. I was starting to feel really sick. Really sick. I have great photos. Like nauseous, exhausted. Like my mouth still waters thinking about that time because I was. We bought stock and saltine. It was so sick. Like just, <laughs> it just I remember it so vividly. It was. <laughs> So awful. <laughs> and we were, this house was completely vacant and empty and we had to fill it up, which we, we did a good, really good job, but there were some things that I just couldn't see through. I was so not feeling well. But he, here's the thing, he'll let me make the mistake and I then he'll warn me, you. but then he'll let me make it and then be like, we shouldn't have done that instead of just saying like, let's not no. cross the street. Yes. And that's happened very recently about multiple things. You should just interfere, intercept on the third yard line when it's time to do that. What is it? Football. Yeah, no, I know what sport, but like, when do you intercept? Uh, Any time works. Oh, these are fun. I'm looking at these, I haven't worn them yet. These are sparkly uh, lubricant. No, no, babe, no. 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 We, can come, we can come visit with you. I'm gonna wear these in France. What about that outfit? I just put that together in my head. Fabulous. Oh, this is really, see, let me tell you what's happening right now. This is the wrong hanger. Are you ready to? <gasps> Who am I? Who is she? It's just like, oh, I'm so French. I don't care. Like, I'm so busy. I mean, no makeup. And so, like, who am I? How bad do I look in this lighting? Oh, that's worse. No. What are you oh, doing? I'm kidding. God. Woman. I, I'm really inspired now, but how cool is my jacket? Right? Thank you. But now I need another hanger for it. I'm somebody that like, once I like a shoe, I'm very particular about a shoe. I'm very particular about my feet and how they look in a shoe and the shape of the shoe. So I tend to buy in bulk. So like YSL did these babies. I saw them and I got them in two versions because I am obsessed with them. I think they're so cool and different and interesting. So I got these and I wear them, switch them off. I get every shoe I like in, in at least two colors. These were like the shoe of life. Like I forever will have them. They're like so special, so well-made, like a, such a beautiful, like typical shoe that like, or I shouldn't say typical, but like, you know, it's that kind of shoe done really well. And then I obviously bought the dolly in every I mean, I got the limited edition one with the puffs. I did the r rhinestone. I mean, I like, what do, what, do, what do you need? Like, pick a color, any color. And I, what I like about them the most is that they're just so easy to throw on. You don't want to have to think, buy things that you have to think about and aren't going to fit with your different pants. I'm an extremely classic dresser with a twist, but like, give me a ballet flat. I will throw them on at any point. Obviously the ones I'm wearing, I just, and not only that, but a ballet flat for me has been consistent throughout my time on planet earth. For me, like, I mean, not to be like super like, but I'm like a jeans and tee girl. That's what I wear. Like I have all this beautiful stuff and I appreciate it so much and I'm so grateful because it truly makes me happy and I'm passionate about it. But when I get dressed every day, like I'm literally, like these jeans are six years old and I threw them on today because I haven't seen them in six years. 
You guys, I just wanna say one more time how it has been the best time doing Necessary Realness. I will miss you, I will miss filming every single day. To everybody who has worked on it through the five years we've been doing it, I love you guys. And to all the fans that have stuck by us and have watched episode after episode, I love you guys. And follow me if you guys wanna come along for Paris Fashion Week at Morgan Stewart. Bye.